Listen, who cares? Brian Danielson and Timothy Thatcher were wrestling on my TV for free. Yeah, they're they're not bad. Timmy's entrance video is just him beating up Minoru Suzuki. And as if I couldn't love this man any more than I already did, they let me know that his pro wrestling idol is Johnny Valentine. Well, who else would it be? I don't know. There's no one else. That's <laughs> so perfect. So they're just torturing each other for several minutes. Uh, Thatcher doing most of the torturing early. It's just all network. I'd have to go back and watch. I don't think they hit the ropes a single time. And there was a couple of strikes and a few suplexes, but mostly they just try to tie each other in knots. I, maybe Tom can dissect this one like he dissected uh, Moxie's Darst Choke Superplex and all that. So Danielson's up in the corner, and uh, Thatcher tries a hammer lock, hammer lock suplex, but Danielson escapes. Tries a regular superplex, Danielson escapes. He has the missile dropkick, starts his comeback, and he's much smaller. He's, he's a better, better striker. But you know what Timothy Thatcher doesn't get enough, nearly enough credit for? His facials. He's enraged. He at doesn't one point. get enough credit? Are you kidding me? You can't give him. All people talk about is his face. You can't give him too much credit. Yes. He, I don't care how much you said. You did an hour show on Timothy Thatcher's facials. It should have been two hours. Rage, fear, glee. You always know what this man is feeling. He's trying to fight his way out of a sleeper. The referee gets bumped. Out comes Maxwell. Puts his diamond ring on and ready to finish this once and for all. Very happy. But he, who zooms in and attacks him from out of nowhere? But Takeshita beats him up, chases him to the back. And uh, they are trading suplexes in the ring. And kind of out of nowhere, Danielson gets the knee strike and wins. This was basically a Josh Barnett blood sport match here on AEW. Uh, they, they did a pinfall finish instead of a knockout. And there were ropes. But they were barely. It was like these guys jumped off him. That was the most they did. But uh, a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty this was. And I enjoyed it very, very much. You know this Thatcher. I love this guy. Ah, the best. Nobody like him. That's but you, true. But you watch him. You watch him. And and you look at his his, you know, his face. And he's missing teeth. And the way he moves. And I know nothing about the guy in real life or his upbringing or anything like that. But just the way he moves and everything about him, you think that this is a guy who, he got bullied in school, so he learned to beat people's asses. Like, I mean, that's his character. That, that seems to work out. And uh, and he succeeded, because he beat some ass here. And it was awesome. And they got a big ovation afterwards. There wasn't a lot of heat for the match itself, but they did get a, a big ovation afterwards. And uh, the match itself, yeah, it did all right. You know, it didn't do it didn't do great. Uh, the quarters, you know, the the first half hour with uh, Moxley and Hangman, you know, both over a million, and then the uh, third ang- the third quarter with the Billy Gun, the guns, the Takeshita match, and everything like that. The first part of that that was right at about a million. Then there was a big drop, lost a hundred thousand people. Ooh. And essentially stayed uh, right around uh, eight fifty for the rest of the show, except of all things, after all, after all this time, they finally do the fiftieth match of Jade Cargill. They've been building up the fiftieth match for fucking ever. They finally do this match on Dynamite. Second half of the match drops all the way down to 783,000. Hmm. It's like, it's funny because, you know, we mentioned this before about Rampage, okay? Fans don't, the idea that fans tune in just to see a star, that's not true in AEW. Fans tune in if a star is going to wrestle another star. And we see it all the time on Rampage. Like, you can put Moxley on the show. You can put the Young Bucks on the show. If they're facing a, a uh, just whoever, it doesn't matter. If it's, if it's Moxley versus Hangman, that's going to do well on Rampage. If it's Moxley versus, and I love the guy, but Peter Avalon, it's not going to do well. So you, when we were in Seattle... The, the, the people care about Jade. They're into Jade. They go nuts for her entrance. Every time she tagged in, it was a huge pop. They see her as a star, but they did not care about Jade Cargill versus Red Velvet. They just didn't care. They didn't think Red was going to win. They didn't see it as anything. 783,000. 
So that's that's the way things go. But uh, this did this did fine. Bring Timothy back is my point. Thank you. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets poor Steffi. All right. Yeah. Any anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her. It's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny? Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Uh-oh. Wow! What do you want me to do about it? What the... <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.